My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can do real-time currency conversions in UiPath and Excel with data from the European Central Bank, live data. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. So let's get started. We have an Excel sheet here. We got uh, three columns, idea, total in US dollar and total in euros. The idea is that's just uh, unique numbers. And then we have a total in euros dollar. We have uh, like very different amounts and we want to do a live conversion to euros for each one of the rows here. And to uh, help us with that or to actually solve it, we, we use an API from the European Central Bank or it's the exchange rates API, but it takes the data live from the European Central Bank. And for example, we can uh, go down here we can get this uh, API address here, this, this endpoint, that will be the US dollar, and we can uh, see how that looks, so we'll just try to open it. And this one gives us uh, a JSON with all the currency rates. So for example, one dollar, that's uh, zero, well, it's actually yeah, 0 0.93396, uh, whatever, um, euros or it's uh, 6.97 Danish kroners and so on. But we'll, we want to get the euro currency rate out because then we can just multiply it with this a total US dollar and we'll get the amount in euro. We will need to, first we will close down this Excel sheet, then we will go to UiPath. We will first, we will read the Excel sheet. So we'll drag in an Excel application scope. Then we will choose the workbook path. So we'll choose the book one. That's what I call it, but you can call yours whatever you want. Then we will have a read range, so drag this guy in. It's sheet one, that's fine, and we will output it to a data table. So press Control K, and we could call this DT data, like this. We will make a copy of this uh, data table, uh, this read range, so copy it and then paste it underneath. This one we will do because we want to create two data tables because we, we will iterate through this DT data and then we want to update it to, at the same time. However, that's not possible. We cannot iterate through a data table and update it. So we need to, cut, uh, we need to um, make a copy of it so we can update that copy instead. So we will delete this output and then control K, we can say DT output. So now we have two data tables. We can go down to variables and we can verify it got a DT data data table and a DT output. They are all similar. But that, let's try to make a HTTP request to get the JSON here in UiPath. By the way, we can open the Excel sheet again. And what we'll do first, we go to manage packages. Then we will go to all packages. And in case you haven't installed the web activities here, I've installed it here. Then you just need to install it and click save and OK. So remember to do that. Now we can drag in uh, the HTTP request. So HTTP request, drag it down here. The endpoint, that's just the address of this API call. So we'll just copy it from up here. And we will uh, go back to UiPath here. The endpoint, we will just paste it in. So now this one will uh, do the API call for uh, US dollar directly to the European Central Bank live. So then we'll choose an output here in the result. So control K, we'll say str JSON, like this. And then we can, actually we can just write out, check if there are uh, whole true. So write out a line and we'll just write out the str JSON to see that we indeed can get the JSON down. So let's try to run this. We'll make the API call. And let's see if we uh, get it. Yes, we get it here, rates, and we actually have it in UiPath now. Now we just need some little tweaks before we can actually use it. So first, we will have a deserialized JSON, like this, and we will drag it in here underneath the HTTP request. The input, that's just a JSON string, so str JSON. And then here in output, we will press Control K, and then we'll create a JSON, a JSON object rates. That will be a conversion from string to um, an object, JSON object. Then we can uh, here in this right line we can now refer to the, the JSON object. Then we can apply link, C# link to it, and we can say select token 
And what's clever about this is that we can now we can uh, make a single query uh, here instead of uh, in one line instead of several uh, lines. So we can just say rates then dot eu eur because if we go down here. We can see that rates is the top of the tree, and then we will have the eur. Let me open the expression editor here. And what we'll just need to do here is that we'll just have a two string like this. So now what this uh, gets us is just the currency rate for euro, how much one dollar costs in euro. So run the file again, just to verify that we indeed can get the euro out. And we can see that we indeed get it 0.93 something, right? So far, so good. Now we can talk about how we will uh, do it. We will have an iteration. We want to iterate through each of these rows in the data table to get the US dollar out. Then we want to multiply it with this rate and we'll get the euro amount. So it's quite easy, but you just need to uh, get the idea. As always, there's no magic here in UiPath. I repeat, there's no magic. We'll just uh, do the uh, for each row here. Let me delete this body. We will iterate through the DT data like this. Then we will create an index counter up here. I will show you in a second what we are going to use that for. So control K, it index. This one will be our index counter. And first we will make the HTTP request. That doesn't test that doesn't change. We will do this for each one of the rows. And the power of doing this here and just for each row instead of up here is that let's say that this workflow was huge, either if it was a lot of rows in the Excel sheet or if this just we, we were doing a lot of things, then their exchange rate could change and we were not having the updated uh, exchange rate here in the Excel sheet. So now we get live dates for each of the rows, we will update the currency rate. Then we can have the deserialized uh, JSON in it, and we will um, now we will assign what the value that we get from uh, this uh, guy here times with their uh, conversion rate. We will now assign that to uh, the DT output, the clone of this table, and to this row. So I will drag in and assign like this. And first we will need to say uh, we will need to. Um, specify where we want to output it. That's the DT output, right? That was our cloned data table up here. Then we say uh, uh, dot, and then what we do here is that we'll say rows. We will specify what rows, uh, we, what row we want to update. And it's actually why we created this in index counter up here, because we want to update the same uh, row in the DT output as, the, as, we, as we are iterating through in this DT data, because that will correspond to here. If we're iterating through this row, then we'll just want to update the same row, right? So that one will just be the in index, like this. Then we'll have another dot, and then we'll say what column do we need to update in this DT output. So column is item, and the column is total EUR, right? So we'll have quotation marks, total, then the parentheses EUR with big, like this. So this one will update our um, DT output, the euro column. Then we want to specify what uh, calculation we want to make. So we want to uh, take the amount in dollar. We want to convert it to a double instead of an object, which comes out here. Then we want to multiply it with uh, the uh, exchange rate. So let me open this expression editor because this one will be rather big. It's not complicated or anything. You just watch and do it with me. By the way, if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So here first we will, I think we will have a parenthesis because the first part that will be our dollar part. So convert to double. This one will convert something to a double, and that's what, this one will be the row. So we will take the current row, and then we will take whatever in the item total USD column. So item quotation marks total parentheses USD parentheses end right, and this one will actually let me just check the parentheses. So we got three parentheses here. We got one. We got two, we got three, uh, aren't we having two, three, four? Yeah, that's right. So now we got um, the thing out from uh, the US dollar, and then we need to uh, multiply it with, um, with the conversion rate. So we'll multiply, and then again, we will convert the conversion rate because we'll get that in a string. So convert to double, like this. And then we'll take like 
the same thing as we did here. Now I can't copy it because we have this open, but we'll just do the manually again so you'll learn it. So G J O B uh, rates, and then we'll choose the select token again. Parentheses, quotation marks, then rates dot E U R right, and then we will step out of the first parentheses to string like this, and this one should do. So now we click OK, and we don't have any errors here. We can delete this right line, we won't need that anymore. Now we just need to write out whatever in the DT output, we want to write it out to our Excel sheet. So find a right range here. We will drag this guy and make sure that we are out of the for each row, because we will only update it once. Then we'll mark it, we'll choose to add the headers. So we'll update the sheet one, that's fine. We'll delete this, and then we'll have the DT output. So this one should do. Now we created a real-time currency conversion in UiPath and Excel. So let's just see it in action. We'll run it. Now we will do the API calls and we'll update uh, Excel like that. Boom. So for example, we can see that 761 US dollar con uh, corresponds to 710.92 uh, or 7 uh, euro. That's it. That's how you do real-time uh, currency conversion in UiPath and Excel. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. Have a good day. Bye-bye.